Hello, hello, brave survivors, and welcome to more the Pro Galactic Survivor gameplay. Today, we are still showcasing what I consider the most broken build with each subclass. I did the Recon Scout, this time, which will be a strong arm on the driller. I think I will go with the Hollow Bow because I found it harder than Salt Piece, honestly. It depends, but I still think that by far Hollow Bow is the hardest that you can uh, run. Uh, so. I had time to test enough weapon after like the with the new overclock after the new patch so I have an idea and what I consider the most broken build once again it's personal you might have another idea I accept that let me know in the comments if there is like any other way that you find better to optimize uh, the build I will go for some crit chance give me that sure so let's get some gold as well to get uh, what I want to get here like yeah that's the more supporting information so i will be going for the cryo grenade plus the lead burster so both got the favorite why the cryo grenade it was in the patch note that it got the favorite the lead burster didn't get it i was just testing some stuff on the heavy gunner and i found out actually that it got that that was the huge surprise honestly i was expecting that so here we go we have the lead burster and it's fine like to get the favorite on boat because we will have less damage but you will just have a lot of damage with the favorite so it's just work fine so we are done okay at least this time we don't have to mind i will just stay here if i can get enough time it should be okay but we get still hit by that's annoying one okay this is a good start we have the nitra powder let me get some nitra and by the way we are almost 50 subscribers so thank you for all your comments the likes the support i wasn't expecting to be already at 50 subscribers we are 49 we are still not at 50 but we are getting there after three months of content creation so thank you for that and let's keep building our community uh, so I will go for a low speed here. At the beginning you might struggle a bit, but that is normal. It's hazard 5 still, so... Uh, XP gain here, so give me that. Okay, just avoid those one. And let's try to pick some Nitra, we have some here. I didn't follow much the update on the game, because I know that there is a huge update that's coming this summer. Uh, I think yeah, I'll go for the screw chance now because uh, our cry grenade won't be benefiting from that critical damage. And we have some like nitro powder to increase our crit chance, so it's one for crit damage is the best option there. So yeah, I had to see if there is any news about the patch note about what it will be including. I know that there is, but, but I'm not expecting it to come anytime soon. Maybe in two months, we just got the new upgrade, the new update. I mean. Uh, that include a lot of stuff like the new rework okay here we'll just go for like the rework on the dreadnought that is really feeling now harder and very challenging i really wanted that the twins just make things really different and all the new overclock the stats the potency the piercing they did some good works and also now all the stat now that you can trigger like you can have like more uh, information about uh, the start of your weapon oh yeah the game the, the game has a bright future so definitely i will be covering it for a long time as long as they continue the good work i want to cover our other games but i'm not sure if i will have the time that's the issue actually because i might start uh, like for example i start playing hades but I have a lot of work. I'm working like something between 40 to 45 hours a week. Uh, so sometimes uh, I just get overwhelmed by the work. So I don't really have time to cover like more than... Yeah. Hey, I can go for kinetic. It's fine. I mean, I don't really have time to cover more than just like the Pro Galactic Survivor. Uh, so we want the cryo grenade here. We have enough gold, so it should be fine. Thank you. So far so good, we are not really struggling, We, uh, even though I would like to stay longer just to get more XP, I uh, go for the reload speed. 
Even though like picking kinetic it's not a bad option as we are just getting actually the cryo for the CC, the damage it will be mostly done. Uh going for the potency I'll hmm. I'll go still for a low speed just to get the overclock. Yeah, I like this one. So I was saying uh, what I like about these two weapons is like you have cryo grenade that will just freeze everything around and then you have the lead burster that just clear everything so they are not even getting close to you. So yeah, that's why it's a good synergy between the two. Go for the reload speed again. And of course, uh, this like um, build, it will just run better on other... Maybe not such speeds because we have a lot of stones, but here all the bullets that are not reaching from the... How we call it? The lead burster as we have... Okay, let's go for the low speed. As we have like, you know, these vines, we have the stones, we have a lot of stuff that block our bullets, but even with that, we're still rocking it. Easy. Go for the reload speed. Yeah, we take some damage, but I mean, it's not that critical. Okay, let me get out from here. Okay, I just wanted to get some Nitra. Couldn't. <laughs> well, I could. I had 39 because the legendary is 38, but we didn't get any legendary. Let's go for potency. And let me see if we can. Get... Of course. <laughs> uh, the great chance here is a good one. And yeah, just continue. Try to get more right at this time. So for the last weapon, we don't really care as long as it's throwable. Mm hmm, great chance. I think I have great chance now. So 63 without, well, I have only 7% from that artifact. So we start getting some good great chance here. So maybe the stun sweeper here can help. Even though I want to be upgrading it, unless uh, I have some double triple upgrade, I can think about it. Because it has some good and useful overclock, either the side arm to get more damage, or the one that make it pick the XP and material for you. Okay, that's a dead end, that's why, hello boy, the mess, because you can really like easily be stuck if you don't pay attention and look at the map, where are you hitting, it can happen very quickly. So let's see what we get. Um... Yeah, the gold, really nice. I like both Nitra and the gold scanner. Even here, like the Nitra scanner would have been better with that Nitra powder. But the gold is still uh, really decent to get it at second floor. It's nice. Like maybe if I'm, while I'm getting this at... Uh, I just want some upgrade, so we'll just go for the fire rate here. If you get it like maybe at, I don't know, fourth or fifth floor, it's not worth it. But like second, well, yeah, till third floor, it's still worth it. Definitely. So once again, it depends which other artifact you have with it. If you have uh, the one that increases your crit chance and juggle, I believe, the name. That's definitely better. But that's situational as well. It depends which run you are, you are doing. Okay, let's focus. Maybe try to get um, in a close and o like, yeah, open area here. Uh, hmm. Yes, it's throwable. They are all throwable. I was looking because the lead burst is not is not explosive. That's why also getting the stun sweeper is good because it's not explosive and it's throwable. So normally we should be getting more upgrade for throwable. So yeah, I hope we can get it. I can only reroll once, so we don't have it. I can. The problem with this, we will be getting throwable and well, maybe it's not of explosive. So going for acid, it's not bad. Acid overall increase all the damage taken by the enemy, so that it's just more DPS for us for free. 
But yeah, the best option would be to get the Stun Sweeper there. Definitely. So we have the Flying Antique Boy. And for sure, I think, yeah, as I said before, I, th I don't think that we can get the Rolling uh, Elite here. We cannot get that one. Because it will be a mess to navigate, like him, for him to navigate through all the vines and stuff. So they maybe just, you know what, it's not worth it, let's not do it. As I did, I, th I think four, something like that, four dive on Hodobo since the day update. And never got that edit. If you got it already and I was just lucky, let me know in the comments, it, it might be that as well. There we go, just for the damage. Yeah, as you see, when uh, like I cleared the way for my body to reach them, I stopped struggling. I was struggling because I was trying to navigate, of course, legendary. Uh, here I go just for potency. We need to freeze them faster. Give me the crit damage. Okay, so yeah, like... If you are struggling, one of the tips that I can give with this build, you make sure that you mine, you have such a such, uh, such, uh, like area and zone that it's free. Like there is no stone, there is nothing. Here we go, of course, for the person. So your cryo grenade will just freeze and your lead burster will just reach everyone with the damage. And you should, yeah, not struggle at all. Even though we are still far away from our full potential here. Once we get our two weapons to level 18, then you will see how how easy it will be. Uh, we can go for more damage. I can go for some more crit chance. Uh, no, and just get upgrade already on our weapon. The lead, like the character needs to level 5, so... Makes sense to get some upgrade on it. Level 35 by the second floor is not a, it's not bad. Um, hmm. I will go for luck and go for this two, and can still get maybe one upgrade. Not this one. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, let's get... So, still no cryo. Not giving me a lot of upgrade in the cryo. So, we have 56 without any nitra. On the crit chance, I mean. I'll start building some good amount of crit chance here. Should help a lot with the damage. I was ignoring a lot of chants, like when I start playing this game, I don't know why, yeah, for me it was like hard to get to 100%, but I was wrong about it. And once actually you start just giving priority to the crit chance, it changes a lot of your, like how easy you can go through all the, the dives. Even though sometimes like if you are not getting the good upgrade and the good artifact, oh, come here. <laughs> We'll uh, get some good stuff from out. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage trying to follow him. Maybe I should be careful. He went here. Problem is like I don't have an upon area, so it'll be hard. Yeah, and once once actually you have to start like yeah, once you have open area, it just become easier. I don't know where he went exactly. Okay, yeah, let's go the favorites. So we have plus one hundred percent damage fire rate, damage fire rate for other stuff. But the good thing is we don't have here any fire rate. We have the damage, but the thing is we need the grain only to freeze enemies. So we don't really get oh it's here. It's here. We don't really need to care about getting less damage. Okay, uh, he's about to die, but he's still not dying. Now, normally he should, yeah, just die. But we got... Hmm. I will... I will go for this. And now we will get... Wait, 1%, one, 1 for each 5. 
So we have 80, that it's uh, 16, yeah, 16 increase. Let's go. An artifact for a fleet, definitely <laughs> worth it. I'm not sure why they are not giving me any upgrade on the crack grenade. Uh, yeah, just go for a quick chance. Uh, look at the damage, like how crazy it's going now. Okay, finally. Huh. I will just go for it. Even though it's, it's interesting, the TNT. Because it will clear the way for... I didn't know that it has it. Let's try it. I never try this, even though it's also good. But let's try this one. I just want to see a clear how good. Because we, we need to mine stuff around for our lead burster to be hitting all the enemies. So getting that from our cryo grenade <laughs> is going even better than all I ever expected. Yeah, I thought it was only the high explosive grenade that uh, have that. Okay, so now I'm definitely going for the Nitra scanner. Go. I feel a little bit squishy, so going for that armor, extra armor, sure. I mean, man, why <laughs> they don't give? I don't know. Why they are not giving me any? Okay, double level. Thank you. I was just complaining about not getting my gr Um, should I roll? Maybe not. Not yet. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I think we are almost 100. Look at the damage. Look at how how fast they are dying. But this is insane. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh this is okay oh i have only 13 line so yeah that's i got 15 luck more that normally we start with 24 so i got i thought it i only at like plus five but <laughs> okay i was wondering oh how come i'm getting all that legendary but makes sense with the 13 line so i didn't get a lot of nitra No, oh, but that's fine because we will still go for the potency here. I can go for some reload speed, I think. And more potency, sure. Now we'll be just insta phrasing everything. I don't feel that I'm slow, so we'll just go for the max HP here. And that's it. Our fourth floor already. So we are still seven level away from our favorite on the cry grenade that you just make things way better even though like now I, I, I don't feel that we are struggling it at all I just want to showcase the full potential of this okay let's now we are getting like both the nitro and the gold while mining that's really good and both increase our damage because the nitro increase our crit chance that the, the what I want, okay, let's go, the three week version, oh. Hmm, maybe the explosion radius, yes, I just wanted to, I don't care much about damage, even though the cryo grenade, I know it's a good weapon, this can put a lot of damage, but uh, I'm using it mainly for CC now, so having just like more radius makes sense. Even though like that three week version, no, so normally, if I'm not mistaken, um, the three version, like three week version, like splitting the grenade to three, it was guaranteed to have it. So now that I have the true TNT, it means that it's a new overclock. So that's why I wasn't aware. Maybe it was in the patch not. I just didn't pay attention to it. But definitely wasn't. I can I can guarantee that it wasn't there before because I played played. But once again, I might be wrong. I remember whenever I was playing the cryo grenade, ooh, I had to go with this. Every, every time I clear, I was getting both like, uh, okay, some potency. Thank you. I was uh, getting that three week versions. But we don't need it. Don't really need it. Uh, doing just fine. So I finished everything actually. You can just mine. Peacefully. Sorry. Your own force defeat. 
We have supplier just nearby, let me get that as well. I clicked the true TNT and it seems to do really doing some good work. Like a thing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so the squint EE5. So with this, yeah, 120% man. I, I mean, I didn't really need that. But yeah, they are giving me that, so I will just pick it. <laughs> yeah, now it's the, the yeah madness now. So just go through everything without even caring what's happening around. Okay, I'll get in there. At least now they started giving me some upgrade on the car grade, that's nice. Look at their health bar, it's melting. <laughs> this is uh, normally like the Tick Boy, they have like high resistance and they have a lot of HP normally. But yeah, it just they can't stand a chance against this. I'm really looking forward to see what they will bring with the endless mode because this kind of uh, build you really want to try them in endless mode and just see how far like you can get with this endless mode. So we'll be getting more upgrades, so you can just make this even <laughs> more, more, you know, more broken. Okay, let's finish this. So three level. Hmm. I can get both, I believe. Yes, I can get both. Throwable damage, sure. So too bad. Don't have this. Can't go for the explosion radius. Yeah, definitely. Give me that. And uh, here it's fine to go for the fire rate. So our fire rate is crazy now, 160. <laughs> and we didn't even get... Uh, no, no, we get 100 from the fire rate. Because the other it was, I think, 150 damage or fire rate. I'm not sure. Because I'm mistaken all time with the autocannon. I know that one is 150 fire rate and the other it's 150 damage. So which one is we? <laughs> I don't know. I, I continue confusing both. Anyway, I, th I believe it was 150 damage on the fire rate, uh, on uh, 150 damage on the lead burst and 150 fire rate on the autocannon. Yeah, the, the, the TNT definitely worth it. It's really mining very fast. They, they, <laughs> they can't deal with this. So you don't even really need that. Uh, uh, let me try to get, maybe I can get that. Even though I'm losing some, uh, I'm losing some, um, hmm, okay, let's go. Some damage because I have that artifact. So we can go here, I think, search for explosion radius and pull enemy before doing any issue because uh, I was thinking about this but uh, I mean both work fine uh, it, it I'm not sure here honestly I have already 165 that's a lot of uh, slow they are freezing them instantly and we don't really need the damage so that's just reaching more enemies and pulling them now that I'm thinking, because I was thinking about going for the favorites, the gravitational core seems to be the better options. Because we, we don't need really the car to do the damage, just control everything. So yeah, and the good things, like uh, the favorites doesn't really um, have a good... I mean, what, what I call them... The minus that you are getting from the favorite is not affecting because it was was minus um, potency on something else, so we don't care about that on the lead burst.
And of course, adding the acid on top of that, I don't know how much it helps, but uh, definitely help with the, just having more damage. So supplier should be dropped anytime soon. I will try to clear some like area here to get where to navigate once we have the dreadnoughts. So I'm not sure if I will take this now. I will wait for maybe we get the pay to win. Maybe. You never know. Be prepared. That's why as well I will be trying to get some gold. Now we have all the nitra. Don't see the gold. One twenty-two percent. Great chance. Mm, yeah, I just go for a roll damage. Okay, I think we have cleared enough base. Yeah. Let's get the supplier because our our boy is about to show up. He's just show up. Oh. Okay, I want to go for this just for my. Let's see how much now. <laughs> Two forty. This is uh, yeah, crazy. Okay, I think he will just, yeah, he will die soon. I mean, if you want me to have just more damage, sure, why not? If it's not enough damage, give me that. Yeah, it's like really clearing the, the way around, it's uh, it's very important. I was expecting him to die uh, faster, to be honest. But yeah. Anyway, you have an idea of <laughs> what you should be doing if you are getting any hard time with strong arm. So let's finish this, because I don't think we can get any more experience. The damage. So 31 million makes sense, the cargo didn't did a lot. We were just uh, focusing on getting um, the potency and also like the explosive radius. So we end up with 258 fire rate, that's a lot. Uh, and sometimes the DPS might be uh, how I can tell uh, tricky to 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 tell how good the weapon is. It depends also how long. Uh, as you can see here, I just uh, spent 20 minutes. Sometimes I will get like I did a run where I get like 40 million on the axe, uh, 36 million, I believe. But I spent like 25 or 26 minutes because uh, basically I had more enemies, so I was. Uh, say a longer so doing more damage to more enemies here the enemies didn't even get the time to spawn uh, and they are already killed and also we didn't struggle to clear like the floor once the elites are, are already there it just depends like how fast you will clear the elites of each floor if you spend a lot of time to clear them of course your damage and dps will be higher well the damage the dps because it's per second much not be that high but the like the total damage definitely will be higher but sometimes you will just get 15 million or 14 million because you are just going through everything so they don't really have the time like to put more enemies because they are clean anything. I, I hope it's clear. 
uh, sometimes I just lost myself trying to explain stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know which one I will be doing next, but stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.